we found out the joist run on that wall which is fantastic news we had a um, bit of an issue with the steels they were too close together good Monday morning back on the um, conservatory conversion conservatory conversion yes as you can see this this was um, glass dwarf wall and glass panels you didn't see that because it was already knocked down and then you had dwarf walls either side here so it is 12th of June and it's 8 o'clock a bit cooler today although it's meant to get up to 30 again thunderstorm warning it has been a hot, a hot one <coughs> So there's Friday, we got that up to that height, which is quite, well, very high, isn't it? Looks higher from here. <laughs> I bet that's, uh, I bet that's 10 foot, that. That could be too high, but we've, we've put it on, it's better, easy to take it off than that one, because these are getting dropped today and going to get put across here to start on the steels. But before that, the steels have got to go inside. So we can put the trestles and the strong boys and acros in front of them. I think we'll probably get both steels in from this side and push them right through. Because it's going to be all getting the steel into the kitchen and up. So um, first job is get them in. So we'll see if we can manage on our own. And if not, we'll just wait for the lads to turn up. Because I'm not sure what time they're coming. So yeah, so brickwork's being left now on block work. And we're going to concentrate on steels for today. So we're going to clear all the crap out and we're going to get cracking. Boom.
Right, half ten. We've had a brew. Rick and Sean have been busy in here, stripping the kitchen back for us. So the door's out, the window's out, sink's out, so everything's clear for us to come in now. We're going to use the, this is the roofing timber. We're going to use that to prop the ceiling. We found out the joist run under that wall, which is fantastic news. The bad news is we've found out we've got to build a pillar here, because most of that's plasterboard. So that's going to have to get sorted out. We can do that today. But the main thing is get this knocked out, get the steels in. Once they're in, we can get the acros up underneath the steels and we can take all the supports out then. Um, yeah, what we, we'll use Vicks for propping up the actual steels and we can take ours out then. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. We're going to get um, get the props up and start knocking it all out. Catch you in a bit. Seven percent battery for lunch time. There you go. That steel's in. Well, it's just there, out of the way. We haven't propped this side yet. So we'll come inside. Obviously, the windows out, doors out. We've knocked out everything. Took the lintel out. Took the timber lintel out. All the beam fillings fell out. There's only those two that survived. So we've put the bracing on there. Put a couple of screws in under the loose ones. I mean, it won't go much further because it's bonded over the top of the beams, but. Now we're going to have to knock holes in the ceiling to get the patching done above, which is a right pain in the ass, but it is what it is as usual. So there's plenty of holes to fill up. And um, yeah, steel's in. That is ready for us to lift it up, up to the joists, wind it up tight, and then I can get the padstones in underneath. But before that, I've got to get a pillar built that end. 
So after dinner, we're going to clear all the shite out. We're going to get it prop. Um, we're going to get this wall out, and then we're going to get the prop in there. Get one prop in there, and another prop in there. So it'll all be held by two acros. All this can come out then, and we can drop onto the outside and get the strong boys in. We'll probably put about six on the outside because if, if this is crumbly, then this is going to be crumbly too. So we're we'll going in above that arch where the flashing used to be. We're putting our, our, our strong boys in that, that level. Brickwork's right. The white arrows there, that's something to do with the roof. But those two courses are staying on. We're just knocking those top few bricks off, which is perfect. So that side's finished, apart from knocking the bricks off. So yeah, we're going to have a tidy up and um, a prop up after dinner. And then we'll probably jump on this side and get this one done and get this one into the same position so tomorrow we'll be building the pillar putting the pad stones in and patching up above because we've allowed two days for these steels so we just need just need to keep pushing on we managed to get that in between me and alex they're not heavy these it's all about technique just getting in to keep it safe so i'm going to go for my dinner and put this camera on charge and i'll see you later And there we are. We are very lucky where we are. It's, it's roasting here, but it's 30 degrees outside at the front. The sun's that way, and we're tucked away inside, thank God. So, yeah, there's the steel. We've lifted it up onto two dry bricks, which gets us near enough to the joists. Then, once we get to there, that's when the acro goes underneath it, and we wind it up to the tight underneath, underneath the joists. So, um, Alex just got another acro, that's going to go on the wall the internal wall's gone now so we're going to put on the internal wall up to the steel wind it up tight once that and that one are done all this can come out and then we can swap these acros onto this side with the strong boys for that side which is this afternoon's plan get all that propped up ready and hopefully get that in that leaves us tomorrow to build up the pillars and patch everything up so all the heavy lifting's done today and the majority of the mess has gone today obviously the kitchen's nice and tidy now <clears throat> till we start knocking that down and at the moment you've got a, a box lintel behind that and you've got an arch over that window and then you've just got this single skin pillar with nothing else attached to it so we've just reinforced it with an acro there and I just wanted to show you these tie wires we had another another comment saying with no tie wires these things I don't know if you've seen these before these are absolutely horrible it's very racy in this good condition barely any surface rust on really good but there's no giving them and they're extra sharp so I get a lump hammer very hard to bend and they always stick out at very awkward levels that one was just just at head height that to take a chunk out your head so yeah they're bent back out of the way
Solid. to me. We'll get the blow last thing. our finish height once Alex knocked those two off and then once they're off we can get the trestles down and get the trestle up here and get this propped and hopefully get the back hole out and get the steel in that's our plan but uh, you know what happens to what, you know what happens to our plans normally so we'll, we'll set you up in time lapse we'll quack on
What's that? What? The scotch. Come to me a bit. Does it? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Both the steels are in, and we couldn't we couldn't film much of this part because the camera died, and all the batteries were overheated. So there we go. Steels are in. I'll show you this properly tomorrow once uh, we get started. But today was getting them up there and ready. So they're up. They're loosely bolted in, so they're not moving anywhere and the acros have got them so they are in place and level so all we need to do is patch over that the inside ones are in tight they've been pushed up to the ceiling joist yeah and then they're, they're rigid and these are going to get patched up tomorrow pad stones and stuff yeah and um a lot of patching on the front and the pillars are over this side so we'll catch you tomorrow for the patch up update. As you can see we're in the shade. There's the sun just outside. The mix just needs reminding it's in the, uh, it's in the shade. Yeah it's going off. It's going off as if it's in the sun. So the sun's gone behind the house now and it stays behind there until this afternoon and then it comes behind this house and then drops out there. And we're usually done by then and we're going to be done by then today. We've got, we're not staying late today. So Alex is well on with the patching. It almost flooded the house last night because we had really heavy thunderstorms and um, Vic said it, the uh, the water was up, to, up against the boards so it's lucky it never got into the house. I think it probably drained away down the cavity there. We're quite lucky there. The, wheel, the two wheelbarrows are full, full of water. But look at it, it's bone dry again now. So, the uh, plan for the rest of the day is I'm going to finish that pillar off as you can see. It's just a little pillar extension for the, um, for the steels up there. Padstones are cut for that end. Alex is patching there. Vic has taken the ceiling out on the inside floor. Oh. Oh. He's taken all that out for us so we can get a nice, easy access to all the beam filling, which is great. We can't I'm usually also, do that. I'm also trying to get to those ones from here. So any ones that I can get, I'm getting from this side, so. Yeah, because it's at perfect height there. Obviously, working inside, you're working above your head. Because your head only goes to the ceiling. But yeah. it's perfect height, that. How do I know I don't do anything? Oh, yeah. What was his name? I think Brian, I think his name is. Brian. I think Brian's regretting what he said. He's got slaughtered in the comments this week. From all the, lo all the, all the, uh, the loyal followers. All the cult. Yeah. So there you go. That's what we're up to. Oh, you can see it. whenever you can see daylight needs beam filling. There's only those two that didn't fall out, and that's because they've been done in the past with thermalites. 
there's the, that's the only two that didn't drop out so it's great really and then this this pillar I'm putting screw ties into this um, I might try and tie it in a bit further up but it's going to be tied in by the pad stones that go across anyway they're going to sit onto the original and sit onto the new so it's just to extend it uh, it might not even need it it probably would have done with just a pad stone across there I'm not sure we just put this in to be on the safe side we weren't told about this um, whether to put a pillar or not this is just good practice so it's going to be a bit of a uh, it's probably about 250 now same at that end that's a 220 and a 200 that's where we're at and I'll crack on with this couple of fill the house jobs done. Alex got a few of those done from this side. We had a um, bit of an issue with the steels, they were too close together. So we propped the joist back up on the inside and we actually um, wound the nut on the inside of that steel to push it out with the nuts. So we've got it nice and straight now, all in line. And then um, pad stones are in, I'm going to pack them up with slate now and point them up and then I'm going to go down that end and put those two in. And once those two are in, I'm going to start patching up here. Are you carrying on on the outside, Al? Yeah. Yeah, Alex is doing well on the outside. As you can see. Picking up the slate as he goes. Yeah, um, the two main parts where he's trying to drop is here and here, as you can see. So this part's packed up with slate and I've put pickers under the block work, same on this side. So this is all, you can actually see a bit of the slate there. So that's packed and then I'm just going around pointing the uh, cracks. Dad did all the cuts for this part for me and any anything bigger I can just patch it up with a brick or thank this and it worked full block so well seems we for, well I forgot to film an outro again so from from the office thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hit subscribe and tap on that bell that way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support.